Greetings YouTube, CG Nelson here from the Twister's Cookbook uh, with another chapter of Fast 350s. Uh, this time we are going to be doing one of my, uh, my favorites, the dog. All right, if I'm going to make a fast, simple dog, I want it to be big. 260s, I, I barely ever make a dog out of 260s anymore. It's all about the 350s because it's a simple design. Other people do it, uh, but it's the size that really makes the impact. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this. I do this for line work. Uh, if it's a little bit slow, I do it as my dog. It's my go-to dog for restaurants. Uh, I absolutely love it. It's a huge hit. Uh, does eat up 350s pretty quick, um, but you know that's why I twist with most of the time nowadays anyway. Uh, so break it down. You got two 350s, third one, and 260. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on our dog. Um, you're gonna need three 350s and a 260. You're gonna want two of them to be the same color, both blown up about the same amount, a hand and a little bit more of a tail. And then you're gonna want a complementary color. I usually like to go with a lighter shade and a darker shade. Uh, and you can go ahead and inflate that about halfway. You're not gonna use all of it, um, but that's what you need to go ahead and do. And then if you wanna go ahead and add the leash, like we saw in the beginning, uh, you're going to need a 260 uh, and just inflate it however much you want it to be. Um, again, remember, uh, when you make the leash, you don't want to make it too long, uh, otherwise it'll drag on the floor. So, take your first 350. And like most things in life, you're going to start off with a pinch press. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a loop twist. Loop twist would be about the size of your hand. Then we're going to go, go ahead and squeeze and soften as you go. About a hand's width, a little bit longer. Go ahead and make a bubble there. Do a small pinch twist. This will be the top of your head. And then go ahead and match down to that. Make it a little soft. Spread this so this sits in there, and that's your head. Make a neck now. You want to make the neck a little bit longer than you would normally make a neck on a dog, you know, that single small bubble because uh, you're gonna put a leash around it, and then two pinch twists. Now I do two pinch twists because I find it gives a lot more stability. Uh, this being the dog, it gets moved around a lot and it's going to be on a leash and so it's going to move around a lot. And the extra two pinch twists, the extra pinch twist down there really gives it more stability uh, and fewer problems down the road with kids messing with it like that. So there's your head. Next, get your, it's going to be your legs. Very soft and stretch. Attach it very firmly. Now always go about two hands. Back up. Lock it into your pinch twist. Hand width body, maybe smaller. And then get your back legs. Take your ears, do about the size of a leg. Twist it in here. Now make sure his neck, next ear is the same size. And then break it, but try and keep a little bit of air in the end. If not, it's okay. Come back to the ears in just a moment. 
Now what you have left here, you want to squeeze it all the way to the end. And then you want a small bubble. That's going to be your nose. Tie that up. Now you want this long of a tail. Put it down through the loop brush. Pull it tight. Wrap it in. Now notice how it's actually touching there. You don't want to make your loop twist too big so that it's out in front and then gets pulled back if there'll be a gap here. Uh, so that's how it's supposed to look. Then just shape the ears a little bit. And that's your dog. Artwork. Nothing complicated. Again, this is fast. This is quick restaurant work, even slow line work. That's all the artwork I do. And then make your leash. Start with a pinch twist. Wrap it around. Now always make sure that you roll this through. Because this again, this is going to be going like this and you don't want this uh, coming undone. It's a waste of your time later on. Uh, and then I like to keep the leash short. That way, no matter how tall the child is, it's unlikely that they're actually going to drag it on the ground, the driveway, the grass, whatever. Because the goal, again, is not to have them pop this. I usually don't worry about that. I just leave a little bit dangling there, but... Make it look nice for y'all. And there it is. Your fast 350 dog. Again, I'm CJ Nelson with the Twister's Cookbook. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, please check out our Facebook page. And as well as our website, thetwisterscookbook.com. Links to both are below. And you can see what other kind of videos we have. As well as instructional videos and PDFs for sale on the site. Uh, so please check us out. And again, thanks for watching.